Best snipers, I got you. For this video, we're gonna exclude the XPR and SKS from the list because they aren't what we consider as true snipers, but you can learn more about them in pretty much any top 10 video we've done in the last year. At the fifth spot, we have the HDR. It's a slow and steady sniper which can one shot from head to toe and close to mid range. It has the slowest ADS time of all the snipers in today's video with 408 milliseconds, but that's not a sniper we want to use to rush. It has 6 seconds of breath hold time, which is something really useful for hard scoping, and that's definitely something we want to use with this sniper. As we said earlier, it can watch out all over the body and close to mid range, which goes to 45 meters. And funnily enough, at long range, we tend to aim for the chest and stomach because that represents a bigger area. And in close range, where the movements of your enemy, might get you to hit the legs in which you can one-shot them. For the rest of the interesting stats on a sniper, well, it has a pretty low flinch at 1.56, 7 bullets, and when it comes to wall banks, you can still one-shot through wood and concrete in the head, chest, arms, and stomach. It's a pretty good sniper for passive playstyle, but if you decide to use it for rushing, we highly recommend you to use the amped perk with a knife because the fire interval is super long. If you miss your shot, you have to use movement to try to get to cover and try to take another shot. Here's the gunsmith we use for it. At number 4, we have the Locus. We're not gonna present use the Locus Stopping Power, which is basically a worse DLQ or Koshka or Tundra, but we're gonna talk about the basic Locus. It has 345 milliseconds of ADS time, which is fairly quick, 8 bullets, and a really nice fire rate of 60 RPM, giving us exactly 1 second of fire interval. Everybody sleeps on the Locus without the Stopping Power Mag, because the one shot hitbox is rather small, with it only being the head chest and arms, but for aggressive sniping thanks to the mobility and the fire rate, you can definitely use it. If you want to use it in SND, it's probably not the best choice with one of the highest flinch in the game with 4.8, the breath hold time is only 2 seconds long, and the one shot consistency is obviously worse than usual snipers. For wall banging, it's pretty good, maintaining the one shot behind the walls the same as without one. And lastly, the mag size is of 8 bullets which is more than enough no matter what game mode you're playing. Here's the gunsmith we recommend. The Koshka, despite not having the best ADS time in this list, has one thing that makes it super strong and special compared to the others. It can blank scope super early. That means that the ADS time doesn't really matter since you can shoot accurately when you're about 230 milliseconds into the ADS animation. The fire rate is alright, with about 1.2 seconds of fire interval, which isn't particularly fast but it's decent. And the hitbox is DLQ-like with the one-shot hitbox being the head, chest, arms and stomach, and the one-shot hitbox through walls being the same too. With all that good stuff, it has a few disadvantages. You can't see outside of the scope unless you have some blueprint with a custom scope. It only has 6 bullets. And for the blank scope to be really good, you need to use the fast aim laser which is a visible laser in both hipfire and ADS. Also, if you want to use a suppressor for SND for example, you have to sacrifice either the ADS speed or the blank scope accuracy which would in both cases make it pretty bad. Here's the gunsmith we use for it. I'm sad to say it, but we have the DLQ in second place. It is good for everything. It has 369 milliseconds of ADS time with a good animation and a good blank scope accuracy. It has a good fire rate with 1.2 seconds of fire interval exactly like the Koshka. It has a good one shot hitbox with it being the head, chest, arms, and stomach. And it's also the best sniper for wall banks being the only one able to shoot one shot in that same hitbox behind multiple walls. And it's one of the rare snipers to be able to have all these stats with an 8 round mag and a suppressor. For the negative points, it has quite a high flinch with 4.2. You can use it whether you want to snipe in SND or in hardpoint. It's also beginner friendly thanks to the nice hitbox and overall good stats. Here's the gunsmith for it. It is as Zeke once said, the accused jacked younger brother. With the classic respawn build, it had 359 milliseconds of ADS time with a really good black scope accuracy, even better than the DLQ but still worse than on the Koshka. It has 924 milliseconds of fire interval which is super quick, especially since it has a DLQ one-shot hitbox. But the most crazy stats is that the flinch is as slow as 1.43, which is even lower than the HDR which is a super steady sniper, while the Tundra is pretty much the most aggressive sniper in the game right now with the Outlaw and the Locust without stopping power. One thing about the Tundra, depending on when this video comes out, the breath hold time might not be the same. For now, the breath hold time is 6 seconds, but in Season 4, the devs are gonna nerf it to 2.5 seconds. For the negative side of the Tundra, 
Well, there isn't much to say. It only has seven bullets, which isn't that much. And the wall bank capacity with the respawn build isn't great because you don't have the Tiger Team Barrel, which harmonized all the hitboxes, making it able to one shot in the same hitbox as if there wasn't wall at any range. One thing you have to remember with snipers is that even if one is better on paper than another, pretty much anything can make you feel like it's bad. The sprint to fire delay being a little bit longer or shorter can mess up your usual timing, or the zooming speed being linear or exponential. The one and only advice I'd give you is to try all these five and figure out which one is your favorite. Even if you use the best sniper, you won't get kills if you're still making these sniper mistakes. 